this, right? You're able to observe it. So once you realize who you are, what you got to do? Step on this side and teach your people. The kingdom of God is within you. You, you, you. Once you wake up and teach your people, the kingdom will come. No more do we have to get gunned down. No more do women have to be raped. No more do we have to hate each other. Y'all got to see that. Stop saying, I want change. Do it. Everybody ain't gonna make it, brother. One third. One third of our people will make it. Two thirds will perish here in Babylon. Don't tell you nothing different, bitch. We are the prophets of the Most High. We're not gonna tell you what you wanna hear. We don't speak smooth words. Right. We're not gonna prophesy blessings. Right. We're gonna tell you, thus saith the Lord. That's right. And that is that if you don't repent, death is coming. Right. Read that. Isaiah 29 and 13. I know you've never, you never heard this before, right? Because guess what? You have been taught this Bible by your brother. That's right. But guess what? In these last days, God is waking up the true men of God to teach his people and bring us back into repentance. Right. Because you are the Israelites. You are the chosen people of God. Read. So they read. So they what? So they read. So they what? So they read. Read. Which thou leaving shall be magnified. So our race will be magnified. That's right. Race is in the Bible, brother. That's right. God is a racist. Forsake you not my law. That's what we are here to give you good doctrine. Bring that doctrine that you're bringing is not good. Right. You coming up against the prophets. We got the doctrine. We yeah. got the Bible. Go to Proverbs 1 to 20. Because, hey, that's what our people problem is. They want to go off their own understanding. Did God say that you was a Native American? No. God called you Judah, Benjamin, Levi, that's Manasseh, right. Gad, Naphtali. Know who you are, black man. Bring it out. The book of Proverbs, chapter 1 and verse 20. Uh -huh. Wisdom cries out. Wisdom is crying out right now. Read. She uttered her voice in the streets. Uh -huh. She cried in the chief places of the concourse. Uh -huh. In the open, and the openings of the gates. Uh -huh. In the city, she utters her words, saying, How long, you simple ones? God say, How long, you simple ones? Read. Will you love simplicity? That's what it is. Our people love simplicity because they're simple. Read. And the scorners delight in their scorning. This brother's happy that he think he's going to come up here with scorning. Thinking that it's all good to come up against the prophets. Read. And fools hate knowledge. Only a fool will hate the knowledge of this Bible. That's right. This is the only true book in the world today. Only a fool will hate this knowledge. Read. Turn. You. At, the, at my reproof, uh -huh. behold, I will pour my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. That's what God is out here doing. He's trying to pour his spirit on his so-called blacks and Hispanics. He's trying to make his words known unto you. This is your opportunity. We get before it's too late. Please. Because I have come and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand. And no man regarded. God is calling you right now. He has his hands stretched out. Where are you? Why you don't come up and ask questions? What is your nationality according to the Bible? You still calling yourself blacks, Hispanics, Spicks, Negroes. Those are my words that will put upon you by your slave master. That's Please. right, bro. But ye have set at night all my castle. Uh huh. And I would know. I, and I would know of my rebuke. I also will laugh at your calamity. And I will mock when your fear coming. God said he's going to laugh at your calamity. When your fear coming, when you're about to get shot down in the streets, when you're running up on trouble and you're scared, the most high is going to laugh at you because you're laughing at his word that's coming out. Hmm. When your fear coming as, as desolation uh -huh. and your destruction coming as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they, then shall they call upon me. But I will not answer. God said, what? But I will not answer. God said he's not going to answer. When everything is being bad for you, once you're at the bottom and you're about to see the face of death, then you're going to want to call him. Jesus, Jesus, help me, help me. But when the prophets was out here trying to share with you, get you to repent, you don't want to hear it. Because, hey, that's what we're out here for. The so-called blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans. We are going to teach you your true nationality so you can come back to your nationality and repent because Christ is on his way back. 
You know, you see how the world is set up. You see what's going on. Every day, a black and Hispanic is getting killed in the street. That's right. What makes you think you won't be next? What makes you think that so-called black, so-called Hispanic? You're not safe out here. Your life is hanging in doubt. Please. Second Corinthians, chapter 10 and verse 5. Uh -huh. Casting down imaginations. That's what we are here to do. We're here to cast down those imaginations that you've been taught. Read. And every high thing that is something itself against the knowledge of God. Every high thing. No matter what it is, what book you don't read, what school you don't went to, what degree you have received. And nothing can come against this word of the most high. Read. That's right. And bring it into captivity. And bring it to captivity. Every thought. To the ordinance of Christ. Okay, who got to get? The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 10 and verse 5. Uh -huh. Casting down imagination Three. and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God uh -huh. and bring it into captivity. Every thought to the obedience of Christ. The obedience of Christ. That's what this Bible is. It's all about Christ and you being obedient to so called blacks and Hispanics because we are rebellious people. That's right. Because, hey, the question you should be asking is why are we at the bottom? Why are we in the ghettos? Why are we in the slums in America? Why are we getting shot down in the streets? Right. And these people hold themselves not guilty. Why is no justice, no peace for us? We're going to show you the answers according to the Bible. Please. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Yeah. But it shall come to pass. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Okay, hearken means listen. God gave us a stipulation. If you don't listen to me, he To observe, to do all his commandments. No, some of his commandments. All his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. God said that these curses was going to come upon us and overtake us. Let's go through a couple of the curses. Chapter 16. Verse 16, uh -huh. curse shall not be in the city. Curse shall not be in the city. You can see that right here in Tallahassee. On the south side, we are a cursed people. We at the bottom. We the last home and the first fire. That's right. We don't get no justice, no peace. We beg our oppressors for help. We. And curse shall not be in the field. Curse we was in the field because we had to do slave labor and then get paid in the sugar fields. In the cotton fields, in the tobacco fields, That's right. every kind of field that we had to work, and we didn't reap the benefit. Bring it out! Chapter 32. Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 32. Bring it out! Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. God say, our sons and our daughters will be given unto another people. When did that happen, you so-called black and Hispanic? It happened in slavery. That's Please. right. And thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Your eyes will be longing for your kids, but ain't nothing you can do about it. Why? Because you was on a plantation, and the slave master owned you and your kids. That's, That's right. the best thing. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 37. Uh -huh. And thou shalt become an astonishment. God said we will become an astonishment. What is an astonishment? When the people, the other nations look at the black man, they look at us like, oh, these people are an astonishment. They'll put $20,000 rims on a $5,000 car. That's right. They'll, they'll go to Gucci, Finney, Louis Vuitton. They'll spend five, ten thousand $10,000 on outfits, but don't have a home, That's living right. in the project. That is an astonishment. Read. A proverb and a byword. A byword is called outside your God-given name. Just like the brother that just left saying he was a Native American, Native Indian. That is a brother. God calls you Judah, Benjamin, Levi. Please. Right. Among all nations, when the Lord shall lead thee. God say, among all nations, no matter if you go to China, you can go to Africa, you can go to East Europe, no matter where you go, God will be, you be called his name. Please. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 45. Uh -huh. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee. God said these curses will pursue thee. That means you can try to run, you can try to hide, but you will not get away. 
and overtake thee, till thou be it destroyed, because thou hearkest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. God said he didn't want to listen to me, so he didn't take these curses. Read on. To keep his commandments. To what? To keep his commandments. We got to do God's commandments. That's the only way we're going to get out of our situation. That's right. Verse 48. Therefore, shalt thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, uh -huh. in hunger, uh -huh. in hunger, and in thirst, uh -huh. and in nakedness, and in want of all things. No matter what you want, you want a college degree. You want self. You want toilet tissue. You must go to your enemies to get it. That's you, right. Your people is not producing none of this stuff that you need. If you want water, you have to pay your bill or they get cut off. What's going on, brother? Bring it out! You know. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. This man that you have to go serve for anything you want was going to put a yoke of iron upon your neck. Until he has destroyed thee. Our people are destroyed. That's right. Mentally, we are destroyed. We're, so we're calling ourselves Christians. We're calling ourselves blacks, Hispanics. But what does God call them? You know. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 64. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. God said he's going to scatter us because we disobeyed his commandments. Among all people. We, from, from the one end of the earth even unto the other. Uh -huh. And there thou shalt serve other gods, uh -huh. which neither, which neither that, which neither, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, because in America we serve other gods. We want to be Muslim. We want to be Buddhist. We out. want to be everything but our God given nationality. The Israelites. That's right. That's right. You got a question, bro? Verse 66, and uh -huh. thy life shall, shall hang in death before thee. God says our life, because we didn't want to obey his commandments, our life will hang in death. And thou, thou shalt, shalt fear day and night. Our people are in fear day and night for their lives because we know at the long pull over a traffic stop, we can be gone down That's and right. nothing will happen. We're paranoid on people. Read. It shall have no, none assurance of life. We don't have assurance of our lives. We don't know if we're going to make it home. We don't know if our kids are going to make it home when they leave and go to school. We are in fear for our lives. We. In the morning, thou shalt say, with God it, it was even, even. And in the evening, thou shalt say, with God it was, it was morning. But the fear, but the fear of thy heart was with thou shall fear. Okay? We got fear in our heart. In the morning time, we wish it was night. In night time, we wish it was day because we are fearful people. But now we're going to show you what the fear of the Lord is. Give me that, brother. Because our people need answers. We got a question, brother. Come up and talk to us. We are here for you. We answer anything according to the Bible. We come out here for our people. Nobody else. Eat that. Psalms chapter 111 and verse 10. Uh -huh. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. When you fear God, that's when the beginning of wisdom will come upon you. That's you. right. A good understanding have all day that do his commandments. All day that do his commandments. Not some of them. All his commandments. That's right. Sister. His praise endures forever. His praise endures forever. Because, hey, we out here for our people. We're not out here for everybody else. We out here. You got to push the system? Because, hey, all our people, they say God's laws are done away with. We don't have to keep the laws. We live in our grace. We don't have to keep the laws. Let's see. Read. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 17. Uh -huh. Think not that I have come to destroy the law. This is Christ speaking. Christ said, think not that I come to destroy the law. Read. Nor the prophet. Know what the prophet said in the Old Testament. Read. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Read. For verily I say unto you, uh -huh. to heaven and earth pass. To heaven and earth pass. Heaven is still in the sky. We're standing on earth right now. Read. Right. One jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass 
from the law. One jock or one turtle ain't gonna pass from this law. Give me Titus 20 though. Because, hey, one jock, one turtle ain't gonna pass from this law. But our people go to Christianity Church and they tell them, hey, we don't have to keep the laws. Do, do what you wanna do. Do as I will. But, hey, let's see what grace is going to the Bible. Mm. The book of Titus, chapter 2 and verse 11. Uh -huh. For the grace of God that bringeth but that bring us salvation uh -huh. have appeared to all men, uh -huh. teaching us that denying ungodliness, denying ungodliness right? and worldly lust, uh -huh. we should live soberly, righteously, righteously, and godly in this present world. Grace is that we live godly, righteously, and sober in this present world. That's right. Where does the unrighteous fit in there? Nowhere. Go to because, hey, we think that we can pick and choose which commandments that we can keep. That's not according to the scripture. That's right. The book of James, chapter 2 and verse 10. Bring it out. For, more, more who, for whosoever shall keep the, the whole law uh -huh. and get offend in one point, he is guilty of all. God says you offend in one point, you are guilty of all. Sister, do you have any questions? I'll go to the most high. We are here to teach the black, Hispanics, and the Native Americans their true nationality. I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.